Hello and welcome back to another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I'm your host, Kip K. Well, as you can tell, I'm out on the road and I'm actually on a quest to find some parts I need for this week's weekend project. Now, a lot of times uh, the parts are more unusual than other projects, and that's the case with today's project, which requires me to locate some very small brass pieces because we're going to build a project that's out of Make Volume 17 and it's called the Discreet Companion Ladies Ray Gun. So that's what we're going to build this weekend, assuming I find all the parts we need. <music> Well, I did find all the parts I need to build the Discreet Companion Ladies Ray Gun by Molly Friedrich. So the first step is to build the body, and we'll be using our brass sheet to do that. There's a template along with this video that you'll print out, cut out, and then we're going to lay that over the brass sheet, and I just used a fine point sharpie to trace the outline of the template, and then using some very sharp scissors or tin snips or whatever you might have, you're going to cut that brass sheet out. Now you'll end up with two pieces, but there's some small holes that need to be cut, and I used a small drill bit to take care of the smaller holes, and then a little bit larger drill bit along with a file to make those larger holes the right size. You'll notice on the template the dotted lines, which are fold marks, so using a small piece of wood or a ruler, you want to bend those into shape. There's folds on both pieces, and they should look like this when you're done. So now it's time to round them out, and I used a metal rod to do this. I also used a broomstick handle, which I found was about the right diameter, and when you're done, your two rounded out pieces should look like this. The project calls for decorative rivets, but I couldn't find any brass ones, so I used a couple of small brass screws and these decorative nuts. These will hold the one body piece together, so you'll put all of those in place. And yes, I did cut my finger on the brass. I was warned in the article to wear gloves, but I just found it a little bit cumbersome to wear gloves while trying to work with this brass. So my fingers suffered a bit. After putting those four screws and nuts in place, I realized that the top piece needed to go over the bottom piece, and it wasn't going to work with those bottom two screws and nuts in place, so they had to come off, and the body will still stay together. So the top piece will be fastened to the bottom piece with the two folds you made and a couple of small screws and nuts. The smaller lamp nipple gets a couple of nuts on the end, and those need to be put on together and then tightened up so they don't move. And then that piece goes through the hole in the back body of the ray gun. Thread on the one reducer, and then the finial on the very end. Our coat hook will be the handle, and that will go where those two screws and nuts that held the two body pieces together are. Of course, the nut needs to come off, and the handle needs to go in place, and then those nuts back on and tightened up. The final step to build the ray gun is to insert the larger lamp nipple through the body of the ray gun, and then there's five pieces that go in place. A knurled lock nut, a brass washer, followed by a steel washer, the decorative check ring, followed by the bracket cap. Those will all go on in that order on one side of our ray gun, and then the exact same thing will be duplicated on the other side. So the body of our ray gun is finished. The last step is to add the lighter. I found a lighter that was about the same dimension as the one used in the article, and it fit just fine, and it works great. And there you have it, a steampunk-style, discreet companion ladies' ray gun. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. <music>